Hello guys! Welcome to my new video. <laughs> so I had a really lovely day yesterday and I just thought I'd jump on here and just share it with you. Um, so I started off the day very early. I woke up quite early. I just couldn't sleep. Um, and so I decided to make my cook my breakfast, which was a grilled wrap, um, which was quite delicious with balsamic vinegar. And um, then I went for a run. So at the moment I'm doing the Mega Run 52 challenge. Um, basically the idea is that every single Sunday for the year you go for a run um, and you work up to running 10Ks each week. So I started with just running 1K <laughs> and at the moment I'm at 3Ks. Um, so I'll get to 10 hopefully <laughs> in time. Um, but it's been a really lovely Sunday ritual for me. Um, I absolutely love getting up early on a Sunday, which sounds odd, like it sounds bizarre. <laughs> and I know that, I know it sounds crazy. Um, but honestly, it's been such a joy. Um, so with the Mega Run 52 challenge, part of the challenge is that you start running by 7.30. Um, and I thought, well, if I'm going to be getting up that early, I may as well get up um, early enough <laughs> that I can see the sunrise. Um, because that's what I did on the very first day of this year as part of my adventure challenge, 30 day adventure challenge that I was doing. So um, I, yeah, thought it would be really nice to continue that and get up and keep seeing the sunrise. Um, so yeah, that was really, really lovely. Then I prepped and went to a wedding expo, which I was a part of as a wedding vendor. So I had a stall there and I spoke with lovely wedding couples, um, or potential wedding photography couples of mine. Um, and yeah, really loved doing that. Um, saw some of my industry friends as well and caught up with them. And um, then afterwards I came home to pass out <laughs> after a very busy day. And um, my boyfriend suggested to me that we actually treat ourselves um, and go out for dinner and drinks. And um, that ended up being like the best idea. Um, we were both exhausted. He'd been doing things all day and I obviously had a busy day as well. Um, so we went out to our local pub and um, had a couple of drinks and then also decided to get dinner. So we had um, pizza and it was so delicious. <laughs> um, we just, yeah, could not believe how tasty this pizza, pizza tasted. Um, so basically the reason that I kind of want to talk to you guys about it is because it sounds like an ordinary kind of a day. Um, but I had this moment when we're at the pub um, where my boyfriend had just gone off to get more drinks and I was just sitting at the pub outside um, just enjoying myself and relaxing. And it was this moment where everything felt perfect. And it, it wasn't. You know, not everything in my life is perfect. Absolutely not. That's just, you know, not realistic. Um, but in that moment, everything felt perfect and it was beautiful. And um, it was such a lovely moment that, yeah, I just kind of really cherished that. Um, so I've had a, a few moments like this before in my life. Um, and there's a book called Eat, Pray, Love. You've probably heard of it. <laughs> and in the book, it actually talks about something called the Turiya state. And basically, the Turiya state is a moment where all of a sudden, kind of seemingly out of nowhere, you have a moment in your life where everything feels perfect. Um, and it's really, really beautiful. It's quite a spiritual experience. Um, and that's what I believe and feel that I had yesterday. Um, I was sitting there just feeling so nice and relaxed, so happy, so content. And I, you know,
know, was not only enjoying the pizza, <laughs> that was really yummy, but also enjoying my boyfriend's company, enjoying the fact that I just had a really nice day at this wedding expo. Um, and yeah, just really, really felt that. Um, and then, you know, my boyfriend came and um, gave me the drink that he just went and ordered for us. Um, and it was a Pimps and Lemonade, which is delicious. <laughs> if you know me, you know I love Pimps and Lemonade. Um, my brother actually just got me some Pimps for my birthday, so I can't wait to drink that um, as well at home. But um, yeah, basically I just felt like it was a moment to remember. Um, and yeah, it was very special for me. So let me know in the comments if you feel that you've actually had a moment like this before as well. Um, I'd really love to hear from you. It's just kind of a moment that kind of takes over you all of a sudden and you go, whoa, <laughs> that was really cool. Um, that was a moment of kind of deep appreciation and um, contentment. Alrighty guys, so um, I'll leave you with that. Um, also, I just want to mention how much I love the book Eat, Pray, Love. <laughs> I've read it quite a few times before. Um, it's funny, I kind of read it and I think, oh, maybe that'll be the last time I read it. And then I'm like, no, I'm sure I'll read that again at some stage in my life and I'll get even more out of it than the last time or something different from the last time. Um, I find it so interesting when you read the same book at different points in your life. Um, the first Turi estate moment that I had um, in my life was actually when I was in Bali in Ubud um, and I yeah it was it's, it's funny because this moment wasn't exactly perfect I was actually quite sick <laughs> and um, I was at the time working as a tour photographer for a company called Life Before Work and um, the tour company, um, the group that I was with was actually going to hike a mountain um, at in the basically like early hours of the morning to watch the sunrise, um, which sounded so beautiful, but I was too sick to go, um, so I had to stay behind. And I was reading Eat, Pray, Love, and all of a sudden I had this kind of wave of um, appreciation and spirituality I guess where um, I felt that that moment was perfect and it was really quite beautiful um, it was almost like an out-of-body experience and I look back on that moment and it just makes me smile because I felt so content even though I was sick <laughs> um, it was just this moment where I was like, hang on, even though I'm sick, I'm in Bali doing what I love. And that is really, really special. Um, and I had a beautiful boyfriend waiting for me back home as well. <laughs> so that was nice. Um, and I just felt like I was doing, doing what I wanted to do in life. And I think that's where these Chiri Estate moments come from for me is when I'm really feeling like I'm doing exactly what I, not that I was put on this earth to do, but what I want to do on this earth. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I could talk about this topic all day. As you can tell, I'm probably, you know, starting to um, ramble a little bit, but um, I will actually leave you there <laughs> and um, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys.